Hello, my friends. I welcome all of you back to my Southern Kitchen and the final episode of Ellen's Fall Baking Series 2023. Well, I want to thank all y'all for joining me in my Fall Baking Series. Hope y'all enjoy my yummy fall goodies. Now we're on to the next series. Stay tuned. What a great way to end my fall baking series with an amazing Halloween treat. And we're going to use one of the number one candies of Halloween, candy corns. So today I'm going to share with all of y'all some candy corn cupcakes. And my friends, these are so simple and easy to make. The bomb.com delicious. And we're going to frost it with a homemade whipped cream frosting. Mm -mm. How yummy does that sound? And these cupcakes will get you into the Halloween spirit. Great to serve for your Halloween parties. And everybody's going to fall in love with them. So you want to make a double batch because these will run out soon. It will taste like you made it completely from scratch. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And for more Halloween goodies, check out my Halloween treats recipes playlist and my previous video, Homemade Apple Cider. I'll post a link to those down below in the description box. So grab your food coloring, your cake mix, and your candy corns, sugar, because we're about to bake some candy corn cupcake magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, in my stand mixer with a paddle attachment, we're going to add in a 15.25 ounce package of white cake mix. The box called for three egg whites, but instead of three egg whites, we're going to add in four. So I have four egg whites and they're room temperature. And now we're going to add in a half a cup of canola oil, or you can use vegetable oil. And instead of water, we're going to add in sweet milk, which is Southern talk for whole milk. Going to add in one cup at room temperature. Or you can use half and half, which is half milk, half heavy cream. A half a cup of full fat sour cream. Going to make our cupcakes nice and moist. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a half a teaspoon of pure almond extract. And we're going to mix all these ingredients together until they're well blended. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing up our cake batter. See how nice and smooth that is? Perfect. So now we're going to divide the batter into two. So I'm going to get that together and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I have separated my batter into two bowls. Now we're ready to add in the food coloring. In this bowl, we're going to add in some yellow food coloring. And in this bowl, we're going to add in some orange food coloring. And I'm using the orange gel. Or you can use the liquid orange food coloring. Alrighty. And we're just going to stir it until well blended. Until we get it into the desired yellow and orange color. Alrighty. As soon as I get through stirring my batter, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I'm through stirring up my batter, and this is the color we want. A nice, a nice dark orange. And a nice dark yellow. That looks great. Now we're ready to fill up our cupcakes. We're going to fill them up in the 12 cupcake pan that I lined with cupcake liners. So we're going to start with the yellow. Going to take a little of the batter and scoop it right inside the cupcake liner, like so. All righty. Now for the orange.
a little bit more. There we go. Start with the yellow. And the orange on the top. Just like that. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and finish with the rest of my cupcakes and I'll bring you back. Alrighty, my friends. I'm through filling up my cupcakes. Now we're ready to put them in the oven. And to bake them, just follow the directions on the box. Oven's preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to let them bake for about 18 minutes. And I'll bring you back. Alrighty, my friends. I have taken my cupcakes out of the oven. Mmm, and it smells heavenly. And look at those colors. So now I'm going to let my cupcakes cool in the pan for a few minutes. And then I'll place them on the cooling rack and let them cool completely. And while they're cooling, let's get started on our whipped cream frosting. In my stand mixer, we're going to add in one cup of powdered sugar. And I'm going to sift it, or you can whisk it. And then to our powdered sugar, we're going to add in two cups of cold, heavy whipping cream. That's one pint. One eight ounce package of cream cheese that let come to room temperature. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And a half a teaspoon of pure almond extract. And we're going to whip these together using my whip attachment. Until it reaches stiff white peaks. Gonna whip it on high. Alright my friends, our whipped cream frosting is complete. See how nice and stiff that is? That looks great. And our cupcakes is nice and cool. We're ready to pipe them. And off camera, I have placed my cupcakes onto my platter. And I have poured my frosting into a piping bag using a star piping tip. Let's give our cupcakes some sugar. Just going to pipe it all around like so. Perfect. Now there's a couple more things we got to add to them. Sweet and corny sprinkle mix. After all, these are candy corn cupcakes. And of course, you got to add on some candy corns. Look how pretty and festive that is. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and finish piping and decorating my cupcakes and I'll bring you back. Alright, my friends, there you have it. Candy corn cupcakes. Don't that look good and pretty? So now I'm about to fix me up a plate and I'll give it a taste. Alrighty, now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mm-mm. Look at that. Look at this cupcake. Have a bite. Mmm. Look at the inside. Super gorgeous. And beautiful texture. It's so moist, it just melts in your mouth. It's full of flavor. And that whipped cream frosting is divine. Bursting with candy corn goodness. This is fantastic, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. Super spongy. This deserves another bite. Mm-mm. Yum o, candy corn cupcake licious. 
my friends i want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today if you enjoyed this recipe please give it a thumbs up i really do appreciate it don't forget to share this with your family and friends like comment subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out also follow me on social media facebook ellen's homemade delights and instagram at ellen delights and don't forget to hashtag ellen's homemade delights and to purchase a cookbook along with your picture please send me an email ellen's homemade delights at gmail.com i would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes and i'll see you next time let's eat much love and happy halloween